Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will explain how to view a chart area in a zoomed state with built-in options like zoom, zoom in, zoom out, pan and reset on a chart toolbar. In this example, the area chart shows a large number of data points. You may want to zoom into a specific area to view the data points on that area more clearly. So, I select the specific chart area to zoom in. Now, let me show you how to enable and work with zooming and panning options of the chart using my existing Blazor application. If you would like to watch the video on how to create this Blazor app, follow the link provided in the card above. You can also find its reference link in the description part below. Here, I have defined a area series chart and bound sales data to it. Now, I will run this example by pressing F5. Here, you can view the Blazor area chart with sales data. Next, I will show you how to start zooming specific chart areas. Within the chart code, I define the chart zoom settings tag. You can zoom the chart area in three ways, through selection, mouse wheel, or pinch zooming. In the first option, selection zooming, select the chart area to be zoomed. In the second option, mouse wheel zooming, scroll the chart area using the mouse wheel. In the final option, pinch zooming, pinch in and pinch out the chart area to zoom in or zoom out on touch-enabled devices. Pinch zooming is supported by browsers like IE11, Chrome, and Opera, which support multi-touch gestures. Now, to enable selection zooming, let me define enable selection zooming property and set its value to true within this chart zoom settings tag. You can view the chart output that displays the selected chart area in a zoomed state. After zooming a chart area, you will find the toolbar at the top of the chart with zoom, zoom in, zoom out, pan, and reset options. Here, the zoom option is highlighted to indicate that the chart is in a zoomed state. The next option is zoom in and zoom out, which helps to zoom in the chart area further and zoom out. Another option is pan. By using the pan option, you can move the zoomed area in both horizontal and vertical directions and navigate to other zoomed areas. The final option is reset, which resets the zoomed area. Now, I am going to show you how to customize toolbar options. To display the toolbar with specific options alone, first I define the list array, toolbar item list, and add specific values like zoom in, zoom out, and reset to it. Then, I assign this list variable to the toolbar items property. As you can see, the chart displays the zoomed area with custom toolbar items. Next, I will show you how the next important property enable pan works. Within the chart zoom settings section, I will set the enable pan option to true to move the zoomed area in both horizontal and vertical axes. Here, you can move the zoomed area without selecting the pan option in the toolbar. By default, the zooming mode of the zoom settings property will be XY to zoom the chart along both axes. To zoom the chart only in the horizontal axis, I need to set the mode option to X within this chart code. Now, you can view the chart output, which allows you to zoom the chart only along the horizontal axis. Sometimes, there are scenarios where the zoomed in area displays large number of data points like this. Then, you can scroll the zoomed area to view data points more clearly by enabling the enable scroll bar option. To add a scroll bar to the zoomed area, I define the enable scroll bar property as true. Look at the chart output now. It displays the scroll bar in the zoomed area to scroll, move, and view those data points more clearly. Finally, let me show you how to set auto interval for the axis that lies on the zoomed range. To adjust the axis interval for the zoomed area, I need to set the enable auto interval on zooming property to true within the chart primary x axis tag. Also, I am going to zoom the chart area in both the axes, so I will change mode to xy. See the chart output. When zooming the chart area, the axis interval is calculated automatically. Now, let's do a quick recap of this session. In this video, we have seen how to zoom the chart area in different zooming modes. We also saw how to customize toolbar options and how to navigate between zoomed areas using the panning option. If you would like to see a working example of the chart in this video, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also provided a link in the description where you can see if you qualify for a free license key to use our Blazor products through our community license.
If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.